I'm good, I'm loud. That's one thing that everybody knows about Kathy Spar, and I am running for the 160th district, which covers most of Upper Chichester, Bethel Township, Concord Township, Chad's Ford Township, and Delaware County, and then in Chester County, it covers Pensbury, Pocopson, Kennett Townships, and Kennett Square Borough. So it's a very diverse community. We have a population of immigrants, and then we also have Delco, right? So, so God love Delco. And, um, you know, I'm running because the platform from the Lorax gave me this opportunity. And I really feel like it's the next step in my advocacy for the environment. I feel I would be remiss if I did not take this opportunity to step up to the plate and go after Stephen Barrar, who has been the entrenched Republican representative for the last 21 years. It is time for him to go, right? Time's up. So I think one of the most important issues in this district, and there are a lot, is the environment. I hear a lot about open space, and I believe my experience in Newtown Township, working on the comprehensive plan, and my bachelor's degree in environmental science will help bring us some protections for our open space in this area. Thank you. So I, have, I actually have personal experience in this, um, have, being that I'm a recovering alcoholic and my disease actually wound me up in prison and I sat there for 14 months simply for being a drug addict. So for possession of marijuana and a parole violation. So 14 months seems to me to be a huge waste of taxpayer dollars. I really don't think any of you wanted to pay for me to be there that long for something as simple as that. And I really think that it's about legalizing marijuana and um, getting rid of all, allowing people who have these really small convictions to have their records expunged. You can't become a productive member of society when you have a record and all you can get is a job where you make minimum wage. Nobody can live on that. So we need to do something to help people become productive members of society that doesn't wind them up in jail. We, and that will save us a lot of money. Not paying for these people to be in jail will save us a lot of money and then we can direct those revenues to other places like helping people with drug problems. So obviously I am a fan of renewable energy um, and Barrar is not. You know, he likes development. He's been quoted as saying it's good to cut down trees, it's good for the environment. Um, so I'm really not sure what science class he was in. Uh, and I would like to jump on the Mamby Pamby bandwagon with the two and a half percent tax because, well, we don't even have that. So, um, you know, I'm we need to go six and a half to start. But I think that I look around the Delaware County area and the Philadelphia region and we have a lot of areas that are, um, you know, they're decaying, they're falling apart, they're these warehouses that are empty and nothing's happen happening with them. So why aren't we retrofitting them and um, turning them into manufacturing areas for solar panels, for wind turbines? Uh, that $80,000 a year job sounds really fantastic for a lot of people in this area. Um, and we can take the money from the fracking tax, use that to retrain people. Um, I also think that working in building and codes for Newtown Township, I look around, we built Lysiter, 449 homes, no trees left. Why don't we have solar panels on those houses, right? All new homes should have solar panels. Solar panel jobs aren't going anywhere because you, they're gonna need to be maintained, upgraded, you know, it, it, that's not going to disappear. It's going to be a long-term job. So I would look towards requiring new solar panels on new homes. Well, I think one of the first things that we can do is elect more women to the House <laughs> and Senate in Harrisburg and down in D.C. That's just my personal opinion there. We need to start there because Pennsylvania is 49th in, like, the, the, the country for women female representation in uh, DC. Well, we don't have any. So there you go. Um, so, let, let's be frank. So I think that's one of the things that we need to do. We need to hear women's voices more. I think that there needs to be some serious sensitivity training and, and conversations on how we speak to one another and how we engage in one, with one another. But I think that also needs to start in school for kids. 
we need to learn how to interact with one another and that it's not okay to just go up and touch people and grab people. I mean, I, I work on that with my own children. You know, you can't just go tackle your brother like that. It's not okay. Well, guess what? You can't do that to me either. Um, and I think that, um, and I know that the Delco Democrats are working on, on, on it, but we need to have policies in place for how we address people who engage in this behavior. Like, what are the ramifications? Are we just gonna slap you on the wrist and leave? I mean, like, why is Micarelli still a representative? It's, why? He has no business being a representative and he's gonna get his pension? And he's gonna get health care for life? This is not okay. I don't want to pay that. You disrespected women and scared them with gun violence and assaulted one of them. That is not okay. And that needs to change. There need to be ramifications. So I think that um, my experience with Newtown Township actually really helps me with that because I already understand what it means to have 13,000 bosses. Um, I really see all those residents as my bosses. You know, I am there to serve them because that's what public service is. When you work in local government, state government, federal government, you are a servant of the people, and that means a lot to me. Um, and so I am very practiced at constituent services. I'm the one that does the Facebook page, the Twitter page, the website, the township newsletters. I'm the one that answers all the questions when they come in through the email and respond to those residents. I'm answering the phone. And um, unfortunately, I'm also the one, Kathy, this person wants you at the window. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to get my work done because I keep having to go to the window to talk to people because they trust me and they know I'll answer their questions. A lot of them have been upset when they find out if I win, I'm going to have to quit. They're like, but what are we going to do without you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But it, the township will not fall apart, I promise you. I'll write detailed instructions. Um, you know, and, and I think that I've already done targeted outreach already throughout my campaign. You know, it's really important for me to knock on doors. When I was out there collecting petitions, I working full-time, raising my kids, collected 290 of those signatures myself, right? And I put forth that effort every day after work, on the weekends, I was out there doing that. And that's really important to me, and it shows through my endorsements, Equality PA, 314 Action, Moms, De Moms Demand Action Gun Sense Candidate, Delaware County, Concord Bethel Dems, Chatsford Dems, Upper Chichester Dems. It's all there, the Plumbers Union. I've been reaching out to everybody. So I just want to say that I'm here today because I had a community that cared and I had a community that helped me achieve success. Yes, earlier I said I went to prison, but you know what? I got my record expunged by Ed Rendell and or I got a pardon from him and then I got my record expunged. So if you went and looked to see my history, you would find nothing. And I was successful because of a community that cared, because they came together and understood that addiction is a disease. It's not a criminal thing. It's not a moral deficiency. It's a disease. And I, and I got success from that. Last Wednesday, I celebrated 23 years of sobriety. So, and I'm here because what I've come to learn through sobriety is that it's not about me. It's about you guys. It's about us. It's about working together. It's about our future. It's about our kids. But it's not about me. It's not about being selfish. It's not about power. It, again, goes back to that public service. That's what I am here to do. I am here to run to serve you when I win. We need to get rid of Barrar because he is not a public servant. He is here for himself and he does what he wants to do. He doesn't care about women. He doesn't care about the environment. He does his fluff stuff, but he's really done nothing. And if we're going to pay him $90,000 a year, I want him to do something, right? Well, guess what? When I get to Harrisburg, I'm going to do something. I'm going to protect our environment. I'm going to make sure our kids have a good education, regardless of their zip code. 
I'm going to make sure that we have a future for our kids. And I'm going to do that because I've been endorsed by, by Equality PA, by 314 Action, Chad's Ford Democrats, Concord Bethel Democrats, Upper Chichester Democrats, and I'm a Moms Demand Action Gun Sense candidate. And all of those things are gonna get me there. And recently, today, I got the Plumbers Union, right? So they're ready to have me go to Harris.